In 1829, Robert Peel created the Metropolitan Police Force, gaining himself the name and reputation for being the father of modern policing. And back then, he understood the vital importance of having members of the public involved in the governance, scrutiny and oversight of policing. And it's with that heritage that we are marking 10 years since police and crime commissioners were first democratically elected and started making a real difference by giving the public a stronger voice in policing and criminal justice than ever before. Over the next few months, we're going to highlight how we have put victims at the heart of the criminal justice system, we are working to cut crime and reduce reoffending, and we are more than ever holding the police to account for delivering high quality policing and providing more transparency about how they deliver policing in your area. We are working with partners to prevent crime from happening in the first place, and we are helping to drive forward improvements to local criminal justice services. We're also tackling serious violence and the shocking levels of violence against women and girls. And we're also addressing the challenges that blight our communities, including antisocial behaviour and drug and alcohol abuse that lead to so many other issues that we see. And also, we're improving the police force's sustainability and ensuring better use of technology to make policing more efficient and effective and responsive to the public's needs. There is so much more to be done, but we are working tirelessly on behalf of the public to make a real difference and keep our communities safe for you.